In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about how I went from being a broke personal trainer to a multi six figure business owner and how you guys can repeat the same process if you're in exactly the same situation as I've already described. So I'll be diving into my five top tips when it comes to going from being or generating 4K per month in your business all the way up to 20, 30, 40K per month in your business, how you guys can repeat the same process as I've gone through over the past three, four years. Okay, so let's dive into my first actionable item and something which I wish I'd been told when I was younger, but something which I actually identified quite quickly without really knowing it. First actual point is look for and identify a problem that needs to be solved in a particular market. So in context, what I was doing at the time was I was a personal trainer at the age of 18 in Gym Box in central London. I was charging about 60 pounds per hour for my services and I was making between four to six K per month, which might sound quite good to some of you guys watching this video, but at the time I wasn't happy with at all. So what I tried to work on was identifying a issue which wasn't being solved in a particular marketplace or a particular niche whilst I was also training my clients. So I started to speak to my clients who were high-end business professionals about the difficulties they were facing with their work and their, well, basically what was holding them back from achieving more success in business. None of them would ever refer to me about particular business strategies, like for example, not knowing what ads to run, what funnel to kind of build or whatever it may be, or any financial strategy. It was always the case of they're sleep deprived, they're overly worked, they're stressed, they're tired, they're underperforming, they can't focus, they're dealing with loads of brain fog, they're often relying on copious amounts of coffee to get through the day. And often at times, particularly with the clients I was working with in recruitment, even drugs to get through the day, <laughs> okay, which is pretty vile. So at that point, I began to identify that problem of being the case of these individuals are not taking care of their health. As a result of that, their performance and their business in terms of their business, their ability to actually focus day in and day out and optimize their workflow is pretty poor. So I identified that as being a problem and therefore worked around a solution to solve that for the market. So that was the first issue which I solved and has resulted in the development of my peak performance service over the past three years. So rather than constantly watching videos like make money online videos or drop shipping videos, or think about how you can solve the world's biggest problems that, that the world is facing right now. Look at the issues around you in society that they're facing or a particular market and niche is facing and think about how you can tackle them with a service you're developing. It could be coaching, it could be one-on-one -on -one services, it could be developing a business around a certain issue. For me personally speaking, I developed a coaching business around health and performance optimization for entrepreneurs. Again, having identified the fact that entrepreneurs were individuals that were kind of adhering to the grind hard mentality, therefore not looking after their health, the food source they're consuming, their ability to focus focus on work tasks, so dealing with copious amounts of brain fog, obviously inefficient sleep quality, etc. All of those issues were very, very obvious in society, yet no one had developed a solution for that. So I went about developing a solution, a consulting business to tackle those issues pretty quickly. So smart businessmen figure out the gaps that are in the market and then create and sell vehicles to help people achieve their desires. That's exactly what I went about doing at the age of 18 and started to work on the, the nuances of my service from the age of 18 to 20 prior to launching an official product, which is the Peak Performance Program. So I essentially was finding out what people wanted and I was selling it to them. So. Uh, for individuals that know London pretty well, I was hanging out in kind of members clubs like the NED, um, which is full of individuals who are running businesses, whether it be digital marketing agencies, uh, financial businesses, whatever it may be, recruitment businesses, tech businesses. I was hanging around members clubs like that and speaking to these individuals on a daily basis for free, offering my services for free so I could understand their pain points and the issues they're facing when it came to their work. And again, what they described to me is very simple. They're undersleeping, they're very fatigued, they can't focus on work for more than two hours at a time. They're dealing with copious amounts of brain fog, their gut health is totally screwed. They're worried their health in terms of the long-term implications can be very, very poor for them. So I started developing a solution to that by speaking to these individuals in the marketplace in a, on a daily basis. So essentially I was finding out what people wanted and then I started selling it to them uh, by developing a one-on-one -on -one consulting service. And as, he, as I said, resulting in my development of my peak performance program now. So I had a clear purpose in the fact that I wanted to solve this issue for my clients and these individuals in this particular market space and this niche. Whilst working as a personal trainer, I got into contact with quite a few high-end individuals, individuals that are running banks, individuals that are running recruitment businesses. So surrounding myself with these individuals was vital to my success in terms of understanding what these individuals needed. Even to the extent where I actually came into contact with the CEO of Monzo at one point as well, which is pretty interesting. Obviously that being a business which is absolutely extortionate in size and obviously what they're doing financially speaking also. Um, so speaking to individuals on that level was so, so important to me. So if you guys are wanting to develop a consulting service, I cannot stress this enough. Make sure you're putting yourself in an environment where you're surrounded with these kind of individuals. So you can speak to them directly and for free, offer, you, offer a service to them to help them get out of that situation they're facing or the problem they are facing right now. What will lead to failure quickly when you are developing a consulting service or going from being an in-person personal trainer to wanting to develop an online business is very simple. It's coming up with an idea 
idea that you think people will want and then spending your time convincing the people that they want it, which they don't. So if for example, I wanted to develop another consulting business and I was convinced that an issue that someone was facing was they had difficulty looking at a screen for uh, huge amounts of time because of their eyes, whatever it may be. But that's actually not an issue that they wanted to have resolved. But I was trying to tell them that was the case. I would never have developed a business. Whereas for me, I was listening to the market. I understood that this was an issue that people wanted to, to tackle rather than myself enforcing that upon them. Okay, that's really important. You have to listen to their needs and their desires rather than trying to tell them that's the right thing to be doing. Otherwise, you'll not create a business which can scale. Something to understand as well, when you are first starting out, going from being an in-person personal trainer to developing an online consulting business, is that nothing is failure. It's gonna take a lot, multiple iterations to develop the best business and obviously the most scalable business, financially speaking, in terms of numbers. Uh, you have to take massive action and know that it won't be perfect at any point. So when I first started, I had no idea what a funnel was. I had no idea what Facebook ads were. I had no idea what a pixel was. I had no idea about any of these nuances when it comes to developing an online business. Part of the process is failing constantly, uh, getting these things wrong and learning about them as you go. You have to be willing to do whatever it takes. So for me, again, I was working like very, very strenuous hours in order to uh, surround myself with these individuals and get as much knowledge from them as I possibly could do. I learned from them what their problems were and the issues they were facing. And it's really important that you fail fast. So you run headfirst into failure and you tackle that straight away. Rather than being someone which is uh, perceiving yourself as being patient or someone which is kind of thinking about the market and what issues they have, what you need to do simply is create an offer and present, present, present that to the market, see whether or not they engage with that. If they don't, then you failed and you need to reiterate the offer. So fail fast, run headfirst into failure. If you guys are launching new Facebook ads and they fail, great, you've learned from that experience, relaunch them again and reiterate that process once again. Very, very simple. To wrap up my first point, pitfalls to watch out for, again, is not making enough offers to people also. So once you develop your first offer in terms of what you understand as being the problem that needs a solution. So for me, the peak performance service, uh, we, we optimize the health and performance of our clients who are generating multi six and seven figures. That is my offer. I understood that uh, in order to scale my business, I need to make as many offers as possible to individuals that this apply to. So for me, personally speaking, I started to produce organic content on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. I started DMing people. I started sending outreach messages to people, emails to people also. And if I met them in person, and speaking to them about my service and wanting to sign them. You have to make offers to people in order to then develop a business which can scale. If you don't, no one's gonna know about your business. And as a result of that, you may be thinking your business is the most important thing on the planet, but no one else knows about it. Therefore, they're not gonna buy your services. Uh, Overanalyzing which niche to go with, again, is another pitfall to watch out for. When I first started the Peak Performance Program, I thought it could apply to every entrepreneur, but I actually tried to target a smaller group at first. So I started to target individuals in tech not really knowing the nuances of tech because I wasn't based in that field, so that didn't particularly work very well. Um, real estate, I started pivoting from niche to niche to niche. Again, the reasons why I pivoted from niche to niche to niche was to work out which was gonna be the most successful for me and my business. Do not spend too much time focusing on which niche to, to target per se, or think about that too heavily. Simply test, see if it works. If it doesn't, reiterate and go to a different niche. It's as simple as. Uh, for me, the first niche that picked up and worked the best was individuals in digital marketing and info products. Um, hence why I work those individuals primarily speaking now. It just scaled very well. Um, ignoring the mindset and self-education side of the process. If you guys are wanting to go from being an in-person personal trainer to you developing a consulting and coaching business, yes, you may be purchasing info products which take you through the process step by step from A to B in terms of going from doing two, four, six K per month, all the way up to hundred K per month. That's awesome. But what's really important is that you educate yourself on further processes and further education in terms of books you're reading, um, things on financial success, things on Facebook ads, for example, other courses, whatever it may be, things which are gonna to contribute to your success long-term. Just adhering to this blueprint will get you to a certain point in business, yes, because it's obviously a proven and tested process, but further education is very, very important. Hence why I read a book a week, I listen to an audio book a week at least. I've invested in many other courses, I've invested in many other skills sets and other mentors, and I also reinvest back into my business constantly as well in terms of, for example, even working with the video crew behind me right now filming this video. Um, trying to build a business on something that's never been done before or imitating someone else and uh, repeating that process again with another business. So when I first started trying to develop a consulting service, I saw many individuals with other info products and I thought maybe I could repeat their process or simply imitate their product thinking that would then lead to success because they had success that process. That is not the case. That's their product, they've had success with it, yes, but you will not necessarily have the same success if you copy them. The reason as to why is because the market's problem or issue has already been solved with that service you're trying to copy, okay? What you want to do when you're developing a online product or a service is think about an issue which hasn't been solved yet, develop a solution to that and present that to the market as a totally new product. So again, something which hasn't been done before. Really, really important. Otherwise, again, your market is gonna be fairly saturated 
The issue's already been solved, therefore you are no longer needed or you're not needed at all in that space, that particular market, that particular niche, that problem's been solved, full stop. Think about a totally new problem, a totally new issue that needs to be resolved and develop a solution which is customized and developed around your own expertise and then present that to the market. Moving into my second point, which is niche offer and results. So what you need to do first and foremost, the first actual item really when it comes to actually developing your business and formulating the concepts behind it is identify a specific group of people who cluster together with similar attributes and solve their problems as I already talked about already. Um, so when it came to my service and what I was understandable developing as a kind of a collective group of individuals with similar attributes was high performing entrepreneurs who are doing multi six and seven figures. They all have similar attributes in terms of desires, obviously want to create more wealth, uh, more abundance with their own personal life and their business and want to scale a business to newer and bigger and better levels essentially. Those are the similar attributes which basically they kind of can all relate to. There's very similar personality traits, very similar desires in terms of their own personal life and obviously how they spend their time in terms of their, their, their hours in a day to obviously then have more success in their business. So very similar attributes, really important to identify that as a collective group of people. This group of individuals must have uh, similarities, otherwise it can be very, very difficult to target them and therefore infiltrate a group of people. We must identify a painful problem they want to solve. We must also identify a powerful desire for a solution or transform uh, transformation. So again, going back to the niche offer result, my niche is high performing entrepreneurs. My offer is optimizing their health and performance. The result is achieving more success in their business, scaling to multi six and seven figures. Those are three brackets you want to look for. Niche, offer, result, and that will then result in a business which you can scale. Your offer is the promised solution and service information advice you provide, of course. It should be designed to solve the problem and achieve the desire of the niche. Very, very simple. It should be minimal in terms of your time and as repeatable as possible. I cannot stress that last point enough, really. Um, so when you are first starting your online consulting business, you can be primarily working with your clients one-on-one. -on -one. So you can obviously then further develop and refine your business and the service you're offering. But also so you can understand the kind of nuances of the problems that your clients are facing. However, if you're working with your clients one-on-one -on -one like you will do at the start of your business, it's very hard to then scale your business past the point of 10K per month, 20K per month, because what you are doing is you are trading your time for money by working with your clients one-on-one. -on -one. So when I first started, I was working out of a coffee shop uh, in central London. I was doing consulting calls uh, for half an hour per week with every client I was signing. And I was signing every client I was working with for a package, which was $3,000 for a period of three months. So basically a K a month. Now I reached a bracket where I could only then work with about 10 clients per month, 15 clients per month max. Otherwise I wasn't delivering a, a good enough service to these individuals because obviously it's a one-on-one -on -one process. It's not a system I'm delivering to them. It's working with them one-on-one, -on -one, which requires my time, my efforts, my thoughts, my engagement with them, of course. Again, to reiterate that point and kind of go over it once again, it should be minimal in terms of your time and as repeatable as possible in order to scale uh, with your business. So for me personally, in order to then break past that barrier of 10K, 20K per month, I need to then develop a info product and then develop a coaching service in which I was removing myself from the process. So I started bringing on other consultants, like my team member Kaylee, for example, who's carrying out my consulting calls with my clients. My clients then access the info products, which obviously removed myself from the process because it was already recorded, they had access to it. Essentially, it was my expertise, but I wasn't repeating it again and again and again by having multiple calls per day. It was simply one thing I record at once, and therefore I could then send it to a client multiple times. They could go through that process and repeat that process with as many clients as we onboarded. So it's essentially, I'm developing a system here. That's really important to go from the, the bracket of 10K, 20K per month to above and beyond, essentially. The results should be as profound as possible in the least amount of time as possible. So for us, we understand that our clients are paying for results and they want it done in the most time efficient manner as possible. They're high performing entrepreneurs they're running very stressful lives. They're obviously scaling multi six and seven figure businesses. If they're working with us, they don't necessarily want to have one on one consulting calls every week. Therefore, access to the info products we've developed over the past three years is obviously pivotal to their success because they can watch that in their own time. And we also have access to our consultants, so they have an option to have a one on one consulting call every week as well. So they can cover the nuances they're facing as an individual if needed. So again, the offer as it currently stands for my business at the point where we're doing 30 plus K months every month on a repeatable basis is we have our info product for our clients. So they can access that in their own time, hence why it's time efficient for them. We also have the option of one-on-one -on -one consulting calls with myself and my team if our clients need that and we have that available every week at certain time slots. We also then have group Q&A calls twice per week also. So again, that's repeatable and systemized process, which I'm essentially removed from, which enables me to scale and focus on the marketing aspect as well in terms of scaling our business, running paid traffic, creating new content, and therefore engaging in a larger, audi larger audience and selling to more individuals. Hence why I can now scale my business because I'm essentially removed from it 
but the delivery for the clients is at the highest level it has ever been and is the most efficient for them because essentially it's a productized service, a systemized service with myself in terms of my information I present and my expertise within there throughout. Point number three, I want to cover some misconceptions of being a consultant or moving from being a personal trainer to developing an online business. In my head, personally speaking, when I was going from being a personal trainer, obviously working in person with my clients, developing an online consulting business, I had the idea that I'd have some office, I had to be dressed in some fancy suit, I had to look like it kind of looks in the movies in order to have that actual business in place. That is not the case at all. As long as you can help someone go from being the person they are now, dealing with the pains they are dealing with, to the future version of themselves that no longer is dealing with those pains and is in a better situation as a result of that, you are going to make money. If you can help an individual go from their current self, which is dealing with a huge amount of pains and their is that this prevents them from going to their desired self and you can actually make the bracket between that uh, easy to transfer across and obviously then off that solution you have a business you can essentially make money you have a consulting business which is viable now the reason as to why someone's going to work with you in order to go from their current self to their desired self once again is because there's an inability to get there on their own now the reasons as to why that could be is because there's a lack of information on the topic and obviously the problems they're facing aren't being solved right now in terms of information they have access to they want to get there faster by following a blueprint and a system process hence why our clients work with us because yes there's a lot of information on biohacking but it doesn't necessarily apply to entrepreneurs who are time stricken and obviously uh, put most of their focus and their time into their business and therefore want to essentially have access to a system and a blueprint which is very time efficient for them in order to optimize their health and performance that's why they work with us that's why we that's where we come in in order to solve that issue they're currently facing so again another reason why someone might work with you to go from their current self to their desired self is they want a proven system a blueprint or want to learn from someone that has done the process before and is repeatable and obviously has success with other clients as well obviously social proof is really important now in terms of different models of consulting you have quite a few you have done few services done with you services one-on-one -on -one coaching group coaching and online programs now when it comes to the first three including done for you done with you and one-on-one -on -one coaching obviously that's very time intensive when it comes to your time spent with the client and therefore is most difficult to scale that's important at first however in order to understand the nuances of your service how you can refine your service get client feedback constantly and work with the client one-on-one -on -one in order to develop the best product possible Hence why one-on-one -on -one coaching is obviously the most important thing to focus on when it comes to going from 0k per month to 10k per month or even 20k per month. And that's how I did that personally speaking. When it goes to pushing past the bracket of 10k, 20k months, what you then need to move into is group coaching and online programs in order to remove yourself from the process so much. It's not so time intensive on your part in terms of deliverables with the clients. Um, and as a result of that, you can scale by focusing on the marketing aspect of things and content creation. Very, very simple. Moving into point number four. Now, by this point, we've covered niche offer results and essentially how you develop a consulting business by solving a problem which a particular market or niche is facing. Now we need to move into some further nuances of that in terms of how to package your service and how to price that service as well. Again, there wasn't so much information on when I was first starting and led to a, a whole lot of confusion and as a result, time wasted. Obviously, you've identified the current situ the desired situation of your target market and niche, essentially going from where they are right now to their future self and the problems they're facing, which is preventing them from going from where they are now to their future self. How can you get that to them and resolve that issue in a process of either like six or 12 weeks over that time period? And how can you do that in a productized manner or in a least time intensive manner so that the client gets the best results in the least amount of time possible and you remove yourself from that process as well? What is the value of them achieving this transformation? So essentially now you're thinking about the cost of your service and you need to price your program between $2,500 to $10,000 for your service. So right now we charge $5,000 for our service with our clients and we work with them for three months at a time. Okay, so they have access in terms of resources, they have access to our info product, one-on-one -on -one coaching every week. So that's a half an hour time slot for my consultant, Kaylee and two group calls per week, as well as access to our Slack channels as well um, for daily communication. Those are deliverables and we charge $5,000 for that service. So you need to think about, again, what the value of them achieving this transformation is and then price that service at that price point. Once you've collected feedback from your niche offer results, you can then come back and reiterate the offer and refine it. So when I first started, I was only charging a K per month for my services. Obviously, when it comes to developing the best offer and reiterating the offer constantly, my service is now better. It's at a higher level. Therefore, I charge a higher, a higher fee now for my service and obviously the the offer and the, the solution we now deliver for our clients. Speak to the market, test for the market, don't expect it to work the first time, make adjustments based on market feedback. So when it comes to iterations and reiterations, when I first started, I thought that entrepreneurs wanted to make a body transformation and achieve the best physique they possibly could do. That was my offer at the time. I essentially said to these entrepreneurs, listen, I can get in the best shape you've ever been in, let's work together. 
I thought that was the best offer at first. Now, in terms of reiterations, I'm now at the point three years later where my offer is totally different. We optimize the health and performance of our clients in order to resolve issues like sleep fatigue, brain fog, uh, gut health, and inability to focus on certain tasks and reach flow states on a daily basis. It's a totally different offer. So as you can see, I've made multiple reiterations and iterations to my service and my offer. I now have this 5K product, which we sell to our clients on a large scale. Charge high ticket uh, will result in more time for you to scale your business. So if you are charging 1,000 per month for your service, yes, that's good and all, and it can get you to 10K, 20K months, but in terms of scaling that to a bigger level where you're surpassing the 20K month bracket, it's gonna be very difficult to do so, and you're gonna be working, what, 12, 14 hours per day. So it's not gonna be scalable, it's gonna be something which is very short term. In order to then result in a massive scale of your business, you need to charge a high ticket fee, unless you are automating every variable of your business, which is another topic to discuss. So for example, in order for us to hit our 100K months, all we need to do is sign 20 clients per month for a 5K, uh, 5K package. Okay, that's five clients per week. It's as simple as that. That's one sales call a day, which converts for me. Okay, between Monday to Friday. 20 times 5K packages equals 100K in terms of revenue generated for our business. It's as simple as. Don't be a slave to your customer. Build systems that enable you to repeat the process with your customers with high numbers that doesn't require you to spend more time with them. So again, in between the bracket of zero to 10K, yes, you'll be spending a lot of time with your customer. You'll be almost a slave to your customer whilst you reiterate your offer and refine it and obviously learn from them what's working in terms of service and what's not working. Working, then past that point, make sure you're not a slave to your customer. Otherwise, you will not be able to scale because you'll be working with them so time intensively that you will not be able to focus on the marketing aspect of your products, the content aspect of your business and your service. And therefore, there will be no growth in terms of your business. It's as simple as. Okay, point number five. So now we've covered the basics of how to develop a consulting service and go from being an in-person personal trainer to developing an online business in terms of the nuances you need to look out for. Now we need to move into more of the business aspect of things in terms of how to scale and actually get yourself out there. Okay, so now you've developed your offer, you have your offer in mind, so it could be helping real estate individuals um, optimize their health and performance, whatever it may be. You've got your niche offer and results in mind. Now we need to think about how you start building an audience and skills you need to develop in order to scale your business. Okay, going from zero to 10K per month is the first jump by, off by developing your niche offer and result. Very, very simple. Moving past that point of 10K per month, you now need to think and focus on building an audience and obviously the skill sets required in order to do that. What you need to focus on first and foremost is producing content on all social platforms. So in order for you to scale, and again, make as many offers to individuals as possible, you need to be out there with public content. It's as simple as. So when you first start and you have developed your offer and you know what your service is, you then need to start producing content for free online on every social platform, including Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, obviously through your email list, which you're developing, hopefully, if you know what that is, and also through your YouTube content like I'm producing right now. If you do not produce content on these social platforms, no one will know who you are, no one will know what your service is, and therefore no one's gonna buy your product. It's as simple as. Get yourself out there and start producing content publicly online so that people know who you are, what your service is, what problem you solve, and therefore they want to work with you. And obviously in terms of social proof, it's just a, a testimonial for that as well. Learn how to run Facebook ads. That's incredibly important. So going past, again, 10K per month, you will need to know how to run Facebook ads in order to acquire a bigger audience and obviously target uh, individuals with, in, in a certain market or niche who need your service. So for example, in terms of developing that skill set and running Facebook ads, I now know how to, how to target multi six, seven, and eight figure entrepreneurs in the e-commerce space, digital marketing space, real estate space, uh, tech space as well, just through Facebook ads. And therefore all the money that I'm putting into Facebook ads is going directly in terms of targeting to these individuals. So I know, for example, I can target uh, Fred who lives in America, who's running an e-commerce business, having developed these Facebook ad skills. That is very, very important. If you do not know what you're doing with Facebook ads, you could simply be putting it in a ton of money. It could be a hundred pounds per day, a hundred dollars per day and getting nothing back. And therefore your business will fail because obviously you're essentially drying up your funds. You're not converting anything, simple as. Collaborate and work with the best of the best in other niches. Now this is something which I feel like we did very well with peak performance and obviously we did very well publicly speaking as well. So I work with individuals again who are doing multi six and seven figures. Majority of them have a fairly big social following. So for example, individuals that I work with like Iman Gadzi, Dan Vast, Tyler Newman, other individuals in the info product space have a fairly big social following. So what I did is I collaborated with them and produced content online to highlight my services to their market and their audience also. And therefore they then become my audience and my market as well because they've seen my offer, they've seen what exactly it is in terms of the problem 
I solve for these clients and therefore they probably want to work with me. So I do collaboration videos with these individuals. Obviously I work with them very closely and personally become pretty good friends with them also. So doing collaboration videos becomes very, very easy. And as a result of that, my business then scales by then acquiring their audience. Tools you need to develop in terms of business and running your business as successfully as possible. You need to learn how to use Slack for communication with your clients and also team members. It could be the media, the media buyer team you're working with. It could be the content team you're working with. Slack is an absolutely imperative tool when it comes to running your business in the most optimal manner in terms of communication. You need to learn how to run Facebook ads. Again, that is covered in most info product courses, but again, learning more or acquiring more information on that topic isn't gonna hurt. It's only gonna enable you to then scale more so with your business and make the most out of the money you're putting into Facebook ads. So what you're looking to, to do essentially with Facebook ads is put in 10,000 per month and generate 100,000 back in return with an info product. Okay, it's simple as you wanna get a 10X return on what you're putting in if you can develop Facebook ads as a skill set. Develop a moderate understanding of social platforms like YouTube and how to record content and obviously how to scale with that in terms of viewership as well. Really, really important. You need to obviously utilize a payment processor like Stripe when it comes to processing payments for your business, of course. Um, develop skill sets in terms of Photoshop and potentially Illustrator as well to highlight infographics for your service. And essentially, um, the, the visual element of things is really important when it comes to describing what your service entails. So when I go on a sales call, I actually have a visual uh, presentation which I show my clients or potential clients so they can see what exactly the process is in terms of my offer and therefore they can understand every nuance of that and that's done in Photoshop. Really, really helpful skill to acquire as well. And obviously you need to put in place some piece of accounting software. Most individuals who come from a personal training background are pretty awful when it comes to financial tracking and obviously optimizing that variable. Make sure you know your numbers inside out, you know your books inside out uh, when it comes to developing your online offer, otherwise your business will fail. You don't know how much money you're generating, how many leads you have, um, how many sales calls you have per week. All these things are really important when it comes to metric data to result in long-term success in your business. Now, in terms of mindset needed, obviously you need to be ambitious, you need to be a lateral thinker in your business. Therefore, you can then tackle multiple tasks at once or in terms of the day, you have multiple tasks you need to tackle which require different skill sets. You need to be able to shift from a particular skill set to another in one day. So for example, today I'm recording a ton of content with the video crew I have behind me. In the evening, I'll then be focusing on other nuances like client deliverables, obviously financial elements of things, Facebook ads. So these skills require lateral thinking. Uh, you need to be self-aware in terms of what you're good at and which you're, what you're bad at. So you can essentially outsource the things you're bad at and then that is optimizing your business without you having to acquire that skill. You need to be an action taker. That is absolutely imperative. Um, if you're not an action taker in your business and you're going from being an in-person personal trainer to wanting to develop an online business, you will not have any success with it at all. You need to be an action taker when it comes to offering your service to as many people as possible, creating content, reiterating your offer and iterating your offer constantly speaking and developing a systemized process for your business. And finally, to wrap up mindset, you need to have the ability to hold yourself accountable. So, and that applies to every variable of your business. It could be the task you need to complete on a daily basis. It can be your routines and your systems when it comes to your life. So your sleep start and end times the food sources you're consuming, the people you're hanging out with, uh, the education that you're listening to or obviously um, engaging with on a daily basis to further your knowledge and skills in certain fields, every variable. Accountability is hugely, hugely important when it comes to success in your business and going from being an in-person personal trainer to an online consultant and online business owner. You also need to have in place a great accountant. That's very, very important. No one's particularly good at the nuances of accountancy. Uh, so essentially outsource it. It's gonna be the easiest way for you to have success in that process. Keep track of your personal and business financials. If you are stressed in terms of your personal financials, it's gonna have a massive stress on your business and as a result of that your business won't perform so well know your numbers and this includes lead generation and discovery calls booked in again very very important if you do not make um, offers to potential clients you'll not have a successful business make as many offers as possible to the given market and niche you're trying to target make sure obviously it is that within that niche and market otherwise they won't engage in your offer anyway make as many offers as possible book in as many calls as possible and therefore sign as many clients as possible very very important i hope you guys enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel leave any questions you may have for me in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one